Trisha Paytas has gone all the way off on Twitter and it seems she is now turning on Jeffree Star. It's a bit confusing because she previously stood up for him with regards to the rumors that Jeffree was talking badly about her behind her back. So why now? Why has Trisha had a change of heart? I'm gonna tell you in just a second, but first, welcome back to Inform Overload. We do the news, we spill the tea, we top the 10, we eat potato. I'm Charlotte Dobre, resident tea spiller and very serious journalist that only talks about very thought provoking topics like YouTube beauty community drama. Subscribe and follow the IO team on social media. Let's get into the news. In a previous video, I told you guys that Jeffrey Starr was exposed by his former friend Tab David, who said in a video that Jeffrey was talking badly about Trisha while they were in Vegas together. He didn't explicitly name Trisha directly, but everyone figured it out because the trip was during Valentine's Day of 2020 and Trisha was in Vegas at the time as she went home early. Like I said, Trisha ended up leaving the Vegas trip early because Jeffrey was also allegedly making her feel badly about herself. Trisha took to Twitter to squash any claims that Jeffrey wasn't a good friend to her. She stuck up for him and said they were tight. Which is a pretty bold thing to do, especially considering that, you know, Everybody hates Jeffree Star and everybody hates Trisha and she she knows that everybody hates her and, and she she did it anyway. She quote tweeted a deleted tweet by Jeffree Star. I'm not sure what the tweet said, I wasn't able to get a screenshot of it, but Trisha tweeted this. It's getting annoying. There's so many lies on so many topics about me lately. I can't keep up nor do I want to. I go by people's actions on how they treat me, not by what the internet runs with. People just want reactions, I'm so over it. Let me just eat and blank in peace. Again, I can only say what I experienced here see. Everyone on that trip was nothing but kind and wonderful to me. Over the top so. I have a vlog where I'm in tears over what a great time I had. I don't know what else to say. That's kind of awkward because she's now seeming to confirm that Jeffrey made fun of her weight, skin and drug use behind her back. So why this change of heart? Well, a lot of people think that it could be because Jeffrey seems to be unbothered by what's going on with his supposed best friend Shane Dawson. He's been seen buying new cars, hanging out in pools, taking pictures with fans, yet he won't address the situation publicly. Publicly. Trisha, on the other hand, knows the internet hates her and she's still sticking up for Shane Dawson. I mean, say what you want about Shane Dawson, say what you want about Trisha, but she's throwing herself under the bus in order to stick up for her friend. Now that Jeffrey isn't sticking up for his friend the way that Trisha is, it seems that Trisha might be jumping off the Jeffrey Star ship. Here are her tweets. If you talk about me behind my back, maybe don't leave it in a voice memo. That is clue number one that it was Jeffrey. What is with Jeffrey in voice notes? The guy doesn't want anything in writing? This is how Jeffrey Star allegedly keeps blackmail on other people. I bet the guy has a folder full of blackmail. So Trisha is implying that there is a voice memo, allegedly, of Jeffrey Star talking badly about her behind her back. She added, you know who can talk about my drug use? Me. You want to know who can't talk about my drug use? Everyone else. Especially when I I haven't used since December. It's gross and you're evil as sh So beyond past my limit. I tried taking the high road, but F it. YouTube ain't my career now anyway, so come for me. Ruin me. Whatever I'm gonna say some sh Go off, sis? Okay. Allow me to pull up a chair, grab my potato chips, and get comfy. There ain't no chairs in here. <laughs> And also I'll be out of frame if I sit in a chair. <laughs> Why don't you tell me your thoughts on this one down in the comments. For now, I'm gonna wrap up this video with some common features. Eshigere? I'm not sure how I say your name, but you said, can you do a video about Britney Spears and the Free Britney controversy about how she's being drugged by her dad to be kept under conservatorship? I would love to do a video on that. I'm actually looking more into it. And if there's evidence for that, I'll definitely report on it. But I think I might just want to do a video on it in general because it seems like the Free Britney thing is finally in the mainstream. Destiny said, hi Charlotte. I just want to say hello to my favorite potato queen. Hi. I also want to thank you and the entire IO team for working and producing videos better than ever through this time. Love you guys. <laughs> Love you. Shannon, hey Charlotte, I don't know what to say, but I won't let that get in my way. Cause you won't read this, I bet. <laughs> what a lovely poem. Nice little haiku to end the video. That's it for me, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. See you bitch next time. <laughs> yeah. Now my frizzies are popping out. My little frizz ball. All right. After Tabby, uh, after Tab made his video, <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm frog in my throat.